is up.
main engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Big thing basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Hello, one of them. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. He didn't hear along with. Ducky here, along with Sandwich. <laughs> and welcome back again to this Honored for the fifth time. And let's see, last time we had a bit of an incident with the physics engine <laughs> and a certain guard's spine. What do you mean, see, he landed on a guard? Yeah, and for some reason that turned his spine into a spring-loaded slinky, apparently, because he launched not only me, but only also his entire body over a freaking ledge, like three meters to off to the side. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I would not be surprised that Hammer Pugosi had um, were trying out some spring shoes or something, <laughs> and he just accidentally landed on him. Twice. Maybe. Let's see. Lady Boyle's last party, you've learned that the Lord of Regent's strongest supporter is Lady Boyle. However, three women in the Boyle family are referred to as Lady Boyle. The wife of the late Lord Boyle and her sisters. Sokolov painted Lady Boyle from behind under unusual circumstances and does not know which is actually the Lord of Regent's ally. You're being sent to the Parsh Boyle estate on the night of a costume party in order to determine which Lady Boyle you must eliminate. Yeah, we're going to have to play a bit of detective with this one as well. Oh dear. Yep. Again, I press E more, instead huh? of F. Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yep, we can go. Because I don't think there's anything more to talk about over at the pub here. stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with a folk of quality. Better you than me. Oh, that's what he meant by tall boys. Yep, they're basically cars with uh, explosive crossbows on a very chicken leg stilt. Yeah. I had to ask, is that really practical? And as long as they can keep their balance, uh, because technically all you'd need to do to get someone down from that is to get up close and knock one of their legs out. Uh, that, that would also depend on how much weight there is on those legs. Yeah, the, one could say just shoot the legs, but yeah, let's be honest, that's not, those legs will not be easy targets. Yeah. So it's a bit of a 50-50. Yeah, but then it also depends what weapon you're using. Like, a rocket launcher may be enough to make them fall over. But then again, just shoot the person on top. Yeah, I think one difficulty with the tall boys is that I believe you can't actually kill them uh, not well, you can't take them out non lethally. She lost her voice right at the start. Oh. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing and they had one of their you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and and they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that avenue. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm going to take one of those zealots apart myself. I'll be right behind you. Yeah, this city could explode into faction warfare at basically any moment. Yeah, I have a feeling the Empress was trying to make sure that would not happen. 
And I would not be surprised if she tried to reduce the power of those uh, fanatics as much as possible. Yeah. No, that's. Let's be, uh, be honest. That probably be very hard to do when that the religious faction is so large. Now we, we don't know how many they count, especially with uh, your recruiting methods. But we Should do we know that they are well equipped. Tonight? Chances are very good. Oh, I was about to try and get over. And yeah, because those jackasses are so high up, that also look, means that if we were hiding, like, say, there, they would have totally spotted us. So he didn't see you! Oh, he's looking at you! That was. Okay, yeah, that's going to be another clip. <laughs> I, I didn't see anything of him getting alerted. Same, hence I was good looking confused. I was wondering, is, is he looking at us? Or have he, there's only he, he did shoot you, and I go, oh, he was looking at you. Go away, he doesn't yeah, this live is the moment where I should have warned you. Jerry, Jerry. I, I was expecting if he did see us that he would have had the same alert system as the others. But apparently not. Uh, Granny Rags is. What's Granny Rags's diary doing here? I can't trust him. You can't love what you don't trust. That's the song the birdies sing when the weather turns cold and forces them out of their nice homes they built. Nice home, um, spoiled, spoiled and ruined, useless now. So the birdies hate the weather that trade them. They fly away to look for new nests that aren't so cold and dreary, dreary, dreary. I'm leaving too. My valise is packed so dreary everywhere I look. I can't bear it anymore. Okay. I think it was word that she was a noble before, and yep. Ap, ap. that is what happens when a weeper gets their hands on you. They start spitting flies at you. Oh, hello. Party, Corvo. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Well. Beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party, and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. And mission title drop. <laughs> it, oh. The hell happened? Uh, Robust 2. Uh, well, oh. Get off. Uh, da, da, da. You want me to decide, you ask me to do it. There's a hole in the world. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, almost fell right up the roof there. Uh. Okay, here we are. Take a breather, please. It's one disorder of another here now. Oh, well, some of that chaos does lead to some fun stuff, but, uh, yeah, we yeah. we could lessen with it a bit. Yeah, oh, and warning, for I didn't notice something I should have also reacted to. When the god that locked home I was looking at you, I thought I heard him loading the crossbow. Yeah, it was, oh, uh, no. uh, I only noticed that when, uh, well, <laughs> the fire turned on on the fucking thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that just shows how much of a pain in the ass those guys can be. Okay, I thought for a moment that I saw something might be down here. <laughs> Back in. I did not expect rats. Oh, 
Oh, this is, is very ironic for me at the moment. Right. Well, I named the illicit man in Warhammer Killian. And someone tried to assassinate him and failed miserably so they could not kill themselves while trying to assassinate you. And you got to trait fortunate. Was it the Skaven? Actually, I a uh, mummy this time. Okay. But uh, Skaven had tried built in the past, and yeah. But yeah, you got just because you survived it, you got to trait fortunate. And that does. And it, well, it means that it's hard for them to assassinate you. However, let's take the focus on the name fortunate. And I you clearly early today. I think you may need fortunate today here. Or in general. Yeah, and um, yeah. I could be more right by accident. Okay, there is a room down here in the waters. After that we'll be done and we can just go into the party. Crash it. But I can't imagine. A listed version of you is more lucky than you. Well, with how things go at from time to time with these streams, well, <laughs> any one of them would be more lucky. <laughs> at least we managed to sh shake those guys. Yeah, so I, I can see Gooly and someone uh, clipping all of these together into a cool up, uh, like, not cool up. Uh, what in the word? Montage! Yeah. I dissolved the montage. Let's see, what do I have? A tall man accident, zombie accident, rat accident in only 12 minutes. Okay, let's see. Party is a neutral zone, try to blend in. Hmm. I'm not sure if we got that invitation in a previous mission or not. Might have missed it. Yeah, I think we might have missed that. Hmm? Now, like I said last time, there is a power that we could have... Not a power, there. We could have found an invitation to this party in one of the previous missions. I believe exactly the last, the previous one. Well, yeah. Oh. Let me guess. We still haven't used you this one. Yeah, the, the point is that with that uh, invitation, we could have just walked in the front freaking door. And we slipped it. Oh, there went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe. I don't understand. Or we just get it <laughs> thrown into our lap. And what the heck was she wearing? And we're meant to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. Oh god! Expressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on. Once we locate the wine, Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma's style, or lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. Oh, damn, I want some wine. Okay. I... I really hate the baby mask one. Yours. Yeah, it, it seems like your entire mannequin shoved into that thing. Upside down. Uh, invitation, please. 
Yeah, and nobody managed. Yeah, nobody bothered to name these things. Right this way, sir. So yeah, we can just <laughs> be let in like that. And someone's going to be left outside. For the good of everyone with that freaking mask. Look at that mask. Sick bastard. I'm just doing my job. Okay, and now we have to play the social stealth game. It was fun for a season, but now? Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Uh, yeah, if we'd had gotten through the game to this point without getting seen, then uh, there would have been a different line there because there wouldn't be any wanted posters for us out. <laughs> Uh, let's see, they have a siren here. The control panel is over there. But uh, yeah. The boils are all in costume, so even we can't we can't even tell which of them is which. And even then we have to identify which of them Hello. is the, the supporter. Hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Let's see this. Also this thing yeah. with Lord Shaw here. Yeah, Pendleton asked, asked of us. Welcome I to keep misreading that to Lord Snow. Things are bad. Could the city oh, be yeah. worse? I... Indeed, oh. I believe so. Yeah? I would say, have you heard there's a new Game of Thrones coming out? No, but with uh, how, the, how it all ended, I'm surprised that they even bothered. Well, it's a prequel. Basically, when the Targaryens take over. Okay. So, yes. hopefully they don't mess that up, but then again, we do have at least an idea what happens. Um, okay. Why the long nose? Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless, lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn okay. cold. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest Wait, of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. What did he get this into? Stop. Stand right there. Three, two, one. Okay, the guy's a better shot than I thought. Or, well, we, we kind of suck with our aiming. Uh, where were... Let's see, it should have, it should have auto-saved right here, yeah. Uh, yeah, Pendleton's a dickless coward who sent us to do a, a duel to the death for him. Because every Why? time he try my, he, every Hurry time up. he manages Let's to get some sort of favor from us, he manages to ruin it, doesn't he? Yeah. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord yes, Shaw, yes, the shut challenged up. party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away. I don't know if they actually react to anything you, you might do with your powers here. Fire it on with it. Actually, we can all go back inside. This might be a good time to Sorry, test this Lord. out. We shall proceed. And then we go to that one. Okay. Got 
because I, I, I had it aimed up and, and I was shooting Stop. at him. Stand right there. Okay. Three. Two. One. Not. Wrong. There we go. I thought I had bent time there, but oh well. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. And yeah, now there's already a, a casualty for the night. Yeah. Do we have we to kill him or don't? Could we also just not one him? I believe so. I'm not actually sure, but I think most of the rays end up in death anyway. Let's see. But, uh, let's do the description and. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether to call all of this garish or too garish. And okay, they dragged out the entire freaking fish. What most people don't remember is the rats came is it out a before the Empress died. And the play do. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's what they want you to think. Watch what you're saying. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. He'll make us great again. Some of us will be great. The boils, at least. Now, now. It's just luck they found crystals on their land. And that we can't make the rat lights without them. And we can't get rid of the rats. Rat lights and whale oil. That's all we live for now. We found out Things what the whales bad. could do when it made us an empire. Worse. Chances this are very good. This is the beginning good. of a golden age. Do you know they've dug down and found the ruins of another city under this one? Before the Overseers, before anything. I bet they thought they were in the Golden Age, too. You need another drink, friend. Pretty insightful. Rat lights. Uh, I'm guessing that's what these things are. Because they don't give off the blue glow of the, the whale oil. Yeah, oh, and that's one of the boils. Yeah, I realize. Why is that? Okay, okay they're all around there. Yeah. Okay. I was worried. Yeah, the fish and <laughs> No. I'm not Wait. sure if I touch that. Oh no. Oh, it's worse. I think they stopped the fish with all the meat. Maybe yeah. sparkling wine fountain. <laughs> okay. Might as well abuse the hell out of this over here. I need that prize. And that's of food. If I could get upstairs, Ooh. one of them must have left traces. And there's a tip for us. Basically, the whole game with this now is that uh, you need to guess which boil is which. Oh, God. Right, as I was saying, there's a little food around, yet the housemates all tweaks. <laughs> I feel worried for them. Please. Uh, Wait, okay, I can't give them my sandwich and I wanna eat it. Oh no, another one of those. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. Don't be silly. The rumors say the Boyles practically own your estate. What if I said I could get you out of the city, away from all this, to Sir Konos or further? I don't believe you. But if you're telling the truth, we should talk further, but not him. Excuse me. Oh, lead him be. It's a party. This is a private conversation. It's a party. It's called mingling. Mingle all you want, then. We'll speak later. I'll find you. Good evening. Nancy? Okay, and Miss White. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? Says the one with the bug I'm mask. So grateful. Let's see. Get Miss Miss White a drink. Is she the moth woman? Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. 
And yeah, of I... course the boils are stuck up as can be. I beg your pardon, miss. Come back here. Okay, so Swedish headbutt. Okay, let's see. No, nope. I'm guessing these aren't the, the whales in well, their full detail because they're quite horrifying up close. Yeah. Evening, sir. You oh, and it's Lord Regent. Don't you? Cider fountain. And there's the third one. And why is it pointing us back to this? Oh, go oh, right there. We need to get the lady a drink. To get some information out of her. But yeah, there are three boils around. One in black, one in white, one in red. We could just kill all three of them and, as the game says it, find out by process of elimination. But again, we're going low chaos. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in red tonight. That wanton thing. Additionally, Lydia's in white. Oh, and that identifies all of them. But yeah, it's, it's randomized who is in which color each game. So you can't just go after the same one every time. And they have an extra bit of... Yeah, they have extra little bits of dialogue like that. Well, that it's different every time. Clever! Actually, damn good. That's a good way for them... Uh, for someone not to simply just uh, look it up or walk through anything. They have to work for it. Let's see. Jack Ramsey, Prismal, Adam Pyle. Mm -hmm. Also, if we had found that invitation and stolen it in the previous... Then someone would have been at the entrance, uh, complaining about how they lost the invitation and all. <laughs> and just because we're being dicks... Corvo Atano. <laughs> okay, we do need to be careful. Because if things do go bad, and yes, they have a freaking lightning wall installed inside of their house. Like a bit overkill with security, perhaps. But yeah, there, there are multiple overseers with their music boxes around. Did you hear about Seem interesting. I love that mark on the back what of your head. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street, barely 16 years old, no family left. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know it? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Or else, I heard she bathed in her Who brought own nephew's blood. Do. Ridiculous! What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outsider. To keep them safe. Emma, you could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere they don't want. The Brimsleys made an awful lot of money this past century. Makes you wonder if those rituals work. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed himself very much for a while. Yeah, constant gossip between these people. Is Miss White leaving the party with you? Why don't you try paying her? Dick. I have to say, for what you've been here for the outside so far. It's probably not working. It's just probably just pissing him off. Yeah. yeah. These things are loaded with confetti. Yeah, for an Eldritch presence, I'm guessing. He uh, he seems to at least want to keep his hand clean mostly off of a lot of things. Learn a trade. Join the city watch. Your house built its fortune in crisis. You can do so again. Land is worthless now. My buildings are full of corpses and rats. Where's the fortune there? If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your family starve. Sell your wife into prostitution. I'm sure I can get you a Enjoying good price. Yourself. You son of a bitch. There's the old pirate spirit. Things are changing too fast to give up just yet. First that nasty mess with the Empress, now the High Overseer's gone. Parliament is shifting. 
The whole city's turning upside down. If we only had a good war to get into. There you are. Although at this stage, I don't know who we could beat. But don't you see, we don't need to win a war, only lose it. Everything's revalued, and we let the conquerors worry about the problems. Interesting. I'll be informing the Lord Regent of your ideas in the morning. You don't mean... Have another drink, Byron. They don't serve cocktails in Coldridge Prison. <laughs> I was only talking, thinking aloud. As was I, Byron. Now drink up. Yeah, screwing each other over in every way possible, huh? Go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. Indeed. <laughs> and, yeah, everyone is basically stealing everything they can in here. Next year, in the month of wind. Oh, hello. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. Okay. Brisbane. Okay, what do you have to say? I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but... Surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Lydia. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. And that's um, the non-lethal wedding. You know, also a bit... Um... Creepy? Yeah, a bit creepy. If, it's, if she doesn't love him back, then it's definitely creepy. Yeah, but at the very least, it'll keep her out of our hair. And it'll dry up the funds to the Lord Regent. And, yeah, I, if there is one thing I might sort of complain about with this game, it's that uh, <coughs> it, there may be a few too many ways you can find out some of the things in this. Like the invitation that was floated towards us. Yeah, yeah. We should have a girl it would have been interesting if we could have just found that somewhere else in this mission. If, if it wasn't just handed to us, and if we just ha if we had to sneak into the party without an invitation as another possibility. No guests past this point. You sure? Seriously? Yep, he doesn't give a shit about someone disappearing in front of him. But yeah, the other way to find out who is who is to sneak up here. And also another, th just getting that lady a drink tells you immediately who, which, yeah, you know, all of them is. Just, yeah, a, a bit too easy if you ask me. There it doesn't seem to be anyone up here. There's a bell for some reason. Thank you. Well, it also will depend if she gives you the right information. True. Okay, there is someone here. Esma Ball's diary. Finally, tonight, tonight, tonight. The party is going to be so fabulous. I shall bet the first man to ask for it, and the second after that, I'm so sick of these dark, awful times. Every day is as dreary as the one before, but not tonight. Tonight is for the living. Esma. Okay, at least she's, uh... <laughs> at least she's getting all she wants out of it. Yeah, and I so badly misheard you there. <laughs> what did you hear, then? I thought you said, uh, it's my balls. We really need to get you better uh, earplugs. I'm not using earplugs at the moment. Your earbuds is the word, but yeah, see, he, he seems to be looking the other way. Could probably lure him in with this. It's... Oh. Okay. Good thing I didn't open up the door. Are you coming? You're not coming in. Okay. 
which means we just do this and this. Surprise! It's the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> well, Corvo is going after them for crimes. And they do not see him coming. They certainly don't expect him. Okay, that goes outside. There is a way to lure the boil that we need away somewhere. I forget if we just talk to her or not. But just let's just keep exploring a bit. Excerpt from a natural uh, nature journal by Piero Joplin. Okay. Curiously, the river cross possesses both male and female anatomical features. One can only imagine what this would mean for human society, were it through among our own species. Would you be dispensed entirely with courting and dancing? Imagine the increase in efficiency as we all dedicate ourselves to the, mo uh, to the important matters in life. Uh, natural philosophy, of course, but also industry and law. And when the aged members of society needed to be replaced by more vigorous younger members, one could simply engage in the auto-impregnation process and produce the desired offspring. Uh, pretty sure you'd end up with a clone of yourself then. Hmm. Back to the matter at hand, while any given river crust is fully capable of inseminating itself, it must also be noted that reproduction does frequently occur between individual crusts. This happens when river crust lives in colonies clustered above and below one another, uh, such as when attached to a wooden dockyard piling. In these cases, as one of the mollusks releases its fluid, they run down across uh, another in the colony, resulting in the intermixing of bloodlines. Which, well, would also prevent inbreeding, because you can only copy the same DNA so many times before it goes bad and hello. And hello there as well. Two more. And boil egg. Okay, we're going to boil that egg some <laughs> to a fence somewhere. It's it creepy, but every time you, you go into dog vision, you hear whispers. We're stealing that for 300 gold. Let's see, let's leave that alone for the moment. So we don't have to deal with the guards. Hmm. Some every coin. Yeah, I don't know what it is whispering every time. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of coin. And... Well, someone needs to fire their maid. And get the cleaner. Basement vault key? Did you just kill a ratish underwear thief? Yeah. Let's see, Lydia Boyle's diary. I'm looking forward to the party tonight despite this prospect of so many boorish men talking about their business failures. What I wouldn't give to meet a fine young musician in this boring and horrible town. Someone who appreciates their harpsichord, for instance, and could write me a song. Lydia, darling, the, the, here are the three costumes for your party. It pains me that I can't be there, though I'm sure you understand why. I know you're going to look lovely in white. I've enclosed a skeleton key to Dunwall Tower. When you visit me, no barriers will come between us. HB. Okay. We know that we know that there's that Brisby's uh, Brisby is obsessed with her at the very least, or wants her. Uh, we'd have to check the we'd have to check the guest book for his first name, but I'm guessing he's the one who provided the costumes. Okay, another pearl. And another rat. Okay, that, that, the rat bounced. Are the rat lights really working? Uh, I'm pretty, I think it might be more of a name in general, instead of a full descriptor or something. We don't know what they're actually for. I'm guessing they're just smaller lights. 
or something, oh. Yeah. But they sound important. And oh, here we go. The other guy gets a peek. And I missed Wait, that. What did I get that from? Hello, Gov. It's something British. And that was yeah. a picture of the spy master. Where is the other one? There is one of them. There should be one more somewhere. There he is. Can't. Don't know if there's a wall or anything between. Not the bounces. Okay, I thought he was turned the other way around. And he was looking towards us. Okay. Ooh, he's coming this way. Knowing your track record so far, I'm not surprised you haven't tried to use them as a puppet to trick them that you're not unconscious. And the last one, so the upper floor is now clear. Okay, now we can freely explore this for anything else. And wait, there's even more? Okay. for regeneration there's a chest over there that's a, either very small or it's very far away but it's only a small thing Waverly's bedroom key okay some extra loot not a Sokolov painting so not worth too much thank you That's supposed to... I think I hear something opening. Yeah. This painting is a jar. Hmm. Typically when a painting is a jar in something, it's notifying something that, that is hidden or something. Let's see. Emma set aside more than enough spirits for the party tonight, so I shouldn't wonder. Uh, if she didn't have a drink in her hand, she'd yeah, possibly lose her balance. Count on me to stay sober, especially in these critical times. Or that I could escape Dunwar entirely, for I have a, a terrible feeling that someone might be after me. Hmm. Well, they aren't after you, they're after your sister. Hmm. And then think about it, I don't know exactly if it changes which of the boils is the uh, sponsor and mistress. Or it just changes the color. We what read that? that. Hmm? Yeah, it's not a skeleton horse, it's an armored horse. Yeah, look at its front legs and back legs. Okay, those back legs look very thin at the very least. Yeah, that's what I reacted to. That horse has been lifting. Let's see. Just, uh... Now, uh, the Isle of Sarconos, except for my volume on Sarconan and, and geography and culture. Sarconos, the jewel of the south, is best known for its warm winds, spiced food, and endless beaches. While the city of Coloro sees the heaviest flow of travelers from across the isles, Karnaka, on the southernmost edge of the known world, is prefer uh, preferred among the elite of the empire. It is said that a month spent resting beneath the sun on the beaches of Sarconos, or within one of the rural villages, can cure most maladies. Travelers bring back recipes and styles from the south, and the dances that all Sarconan learn in their youth are favored in crystal for the sensuality, copied by the fashionable aristocracy in the capital city of Dunwall. The most persistent trouble in Sarconos originates along the string of tiny islands stretching away from the mainland to the east. 
For generations, pirates have hidden among these uh, <clears throat> among this archipelago, raiding traders passing between the isles, and more recently attacking whaling ships returning with rich stores of oil. Okay. Yeah, sorry. New water bottle, a bit chunkier than the previous. <laughs> because I kept running out with the previous one. I get the feeling there is something going on with those. I'm not really full on that. And there is some things that we saw up above, actually. Oh, <laughs> now here we are. Let's see. Actually, I think there might be... Yep, yeah, there's a rune still around here. We only have two or three. Hello, thank you. And the, the smallest thing is worth the most there. Not the bar of gold, I'm guessing. Or maybe bronze. Hmm. Wait, I've never seen an animal get paid in the bar of bronze. It's, I think that is all that we can really do around here. Or at least up here. So now we have to find a way back down. Without getting caught. Or we just teleport around the guard again. This was once the house of a high overseer. Lydia Boyle took special care to desecrate each and every relic. Lydia Boyle was a woman. Okay. I guess we know what she thinks of the religion. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed. I hey, believe so. They told me not to let anyone up here. Do me a favor and head back down. Okay, but at least he's being kind enough about that. This city is built on the bones of the Great Ones. Great Ones? I mean, a former empire is gone. Darkness will fall. Party's indoors. Yeah. Please enjoy yourself. Inside. Hmm. Okay, it seems we did miss something here. Can we get out there? Not sure if we can get back in if we do. Hmm. Hmm. Roofs are a bit high. So. Wait, hmm. I got an idea. I got an idea. Actually, I see a thing here already. Oh, well, I wanted to throw you. I'm not a dwarf. Yet. No, we can go in there. A bit more height. Just out of reach. But yeah, this would have been a way to sneak into the party without an invitation, I'm guessing. If we can find out how else we could get it gotten up here. Yeah. Don't land on a god again! See? A single coin. Hmm. How do we get in there? Also, how do we get back up here? Sweepers. Wait, get right back. Need more drink. Okay. There we go. Also, there's when there isn't when we don't have enough power to use an ability, uh, then the mark in the middle of, of the screen turns red. Feathers. Oil. And the water of life. Let's see. What? Robust. Potions give more health. Drinking from fountains recharges a small amount of health. Okay, so it's spirit water but with health. 
I actually haven't used that one much, if any. <laughs> We've actually used our powers very little, except for the blink ability. And the vision. Yeah. Now, there is an achievement to get through this game without using any of the outsider's powers. All right. And I don't think we'll be going down all the way downstairs here. Or any, since the floor below is locked up. So yeah, let's get back into the party and uh, get our boil done. Pie. Guard quarters. Okay, this is some guards. Or, yeah, this is some guards' uh, apartment, and there's the key. Going to steal the single two coins that they have. And yeah, that's that. Let's see. Oh, and that's how we also can get into here. <laughs> like, there there are many parts, but some are just a bit too easy to find, if you ask me. I hear the whole second floor is off limits tonight. Too many guests walking off with their valuables. <laughs> are you going to be playing the Boyle's game? Well, we've already played, and we're... Well, we're going to win it. Let's see. Rats, damn you. Rats keep spawning there for some reason. Let's see, what our options do we have? We're talking to a different I boy. Trust you are on the guest list, sir. Okay, nothing. And yes, we can just pickpocket them. If we're being a bit sneaky about it. Where, where actually is the entrance to the cellar that we need to lure her to? Yes. Do you? Tell me. You're very clever. Now tell me yours. Hmm. Save my life. From what? Are you ill? Okay, actually, I have a message. Someone's going to meet you in the cellar. It's important. You should hurry. And now the fly is walking straight into the, the web. Oh, that would be such a bore. I mean, well, she's going to lead us to wherever the entrance to downstairs is. I really should have received an invitation to avoid the state. Indeed. Hmm. I, do I think whoever we s would have been able to steal that invitation off of should have, is probably also somewhere around here. And okay, it's just down here. And well, now we could just grab her whenever we want, actually. Or not yet. Heck is that? Hmm. It's the fish again, my good sir. So fish. Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. Not that I'm in favor of it morally. Yeah. Switch needed. Ah, this one. There we go. Now, let's see. Where? There is our contact. That's... That's a lot of booze. They could have made it an alternative. You found yeah. her. Quickly, let's get her on board. 
last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. I think the outsider had a bit of a different perspective on that, since he seems to be able to see oh, varying futures. Oh, at the very least, she's out of our hair, which means she's out of the city, and the, the Lord Regent is out of funding. And wait, a boy, what is a boy? Unless you. The, please don't tell me the name of their skin boils. I'm guessing they are, and we're just going to rob them blind. No, 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 no. You, you, you do it wrong. If you're gonna rob them blind, blindfold yourself first. And now all we have to do is sneak out. And let's check the door here. Oh, into the sewers. But I didn't actually know you could get in here. Wait. So we have a new area for you? Yeah. I think oh, most of the time that I... Well, I'm not sure if I've replayed this game many times, if at all. But I'm pretty sure that the last time that I played it, I just walked straight out the front door again. Okay. There's some fish that we're not going to deal with. There's a tall boy we're also not going to deal with. Oh, okay, motherfucker came down here. Uh, I don't... I don't blame... I don't blame him for moving back here. And that could have been... troublesome to get past. Actually, no, we could have just got, jumped down from there. Let's do it. Yeah, Sam will see them. We are right here. In, he's right in front of our nose. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. I don't know how to feel at the moment. Only one hostile killed them. Yeah. And we could read it. Hmm. Lord Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. The reason I re didn't read it out was because, well, <clears throat> the cinematic bits. Okay, where is Pendleton? Because I have a, I have a revolver to shove up its a his ass. Hello, Wallace. I trust you enjoyed the Boyle's hospitality. Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. I have you a mean better his idea. Morning wine. Hmm? You take Wallace and shove him up in front of ass. Note from Courier. Mask man, this note is for you. Your actions have not gone unnoticed. There is a package next to your bed and a note from the one you wanted to have... The one who wanted you to have it. A humble footman. Okay. okay is that yours, Wallace? Now, then again, he isn't exactly humble. The humble footman... That's not what I see that in a letter. I'm not a fool. 
I know I'd be the first to go if they got rid of people. Mm. Yeah, even if we are, quote-unquote, the good guys in this, and well, we are, that doesn't mean that everyone in here is a good guy. In a reverse of a uh, Racket Ralph's stuff. <laughs> Oh dear. Tiara's door to nowhere? The door to nowhere has proven to be a safety hazard, but for me this project is an endless source of inspiration. With the proper application of energies, I believe I can transform the door frame into a window of some sort. One that will allow a traveler to cover the distance from my workshop to some distant arbitrary point in a single step. Currently the step leads to a sheer drop <laughs> straight down into the courtyard, but in time it will bridge gaps that will boggle the mind. Such works is many years away, to be sure, but if I survive this plague, I'm sure to succeed. <laughs> I imagine you made that masquerade a lively event. I doubt there will be another high society party that will live up to it. Yeah, it, there aren't too many parties where the host goes missing. Um... Oh... Uh. The Helia No, Helia, no, no. What? You sweet innocent child. It's a trope that happens a lot. Copper wiring is making all the difference. Increasing the output by almost 50%. Yet, the whale oil still has too many impurities. I need to find a way to filter it myself if that idiot can't provide a better grade. Even the Academy doesn't have anything that will refine it to the specifications I require. Something new, then. Perhaps using charcoal or a multiple chamber device. I feel confident that the answer will come to me tonight as I slumber. Hmm. You're going to wonder a bit who would technically be the better inventor if one is, well, a bump a bumbling idiot well not really a bumbling fool i'll better say better who thinks he gets contacted by an, uh, an uh, by the outsider and still somehow on his own manages to make very impressive technology or the one that is well all, an arrogant prick but does get uh, help from the outsider yeah and yeah as I've been saying again, Hillian, the wood trope, it is a wood trope to where the host goes missing with the old full party. Yeah, but I don't think that will happen in here for another long time. Unless there's a similar mission in, out, in Dishonored 2. I almost said Outsider 2. I'm very surprised to me if that's common. Well, maybe that will be this world, but I see that trope done way too many times in movies and series. Way too many times. Yeah, typically in political thrillers or something. Pendleton's here. Political? Someplace. No. The river's the only way out of here. It it's usually in murder dramas, especially a murder drama set in a similar setting like this one. But it's a bit more less political, and more of a, well, it can be political, but yeah, you know. Old British is detective work. And yeah, that's more where they get murdered, not go missing specifically, but okay. But they do, just they want to go get murdered and they want to go missing. I once snuck into a party at the Grimsleys. Very strange it was, too. <laughs> okay. But sometimes the tropes are intermingled. And whoever oh, delivered that note delivered a rune. Okay. That is not the vintage I asked for, you half wit ox. No matter, just set it down. Leave both bottles and get out. I'm trying to write my memoirs. Picky jackass. Like it's, uh, it gives those little audio bits, but I can't actually hear that in the recordings themselves. And here are these two. Also, something I've forgotten to note of my list of voice actors here is that Havelock here, his voice actor, in, plays a role in the MCU as Howard Stark. 
Tony Stark's father. Oh, that's why I recognize his voice. And I probably may have heard his voice acting elsewhere. Is this the blueprint of... Um... It didn't, this isn't from the uh, the overseer's building. It's, hmm. I take it the Boyle's party ended as planned. That will break the Lord Regent's financial base. We'll see how loyal the guards are when they're asked to work on credit. Probably not too many. We are moving closer and closer to an empire free of the corrupt and depraved. Not much further now, Corvo. Hmm. Well, they did name it bit, this bit the final move. So we're getting close to something at the very least. Hmm. There is something... There. Could have forgotten that one before. Pendleton. I closed the door myself. Actually, before that... Something's in the air, so to speak. Someone Thank knows who, who we are and where we are. Thank you, Indian. Thank you. Now I have another song stuck in my head. <laughs> Jay? Wherever you are, I must thank you for sparing at least part of my family. We all have enemies, certainly we boil women. In a way, you've done me a favor, so you deserve a reward. I've passed this along from one of my servants through another who knows another. One of yours. May you ne maybe never cross paths again. The boils... The boils know of us. Was it that the sister is... you knocked out, or one of her other sisters? Uh, probably her other sisters, because uh, Lydia Boyle... He's probably ranting and screaming at her quote-unquote lover at the moment. Hmm. What do you have to say? Before we do, drink. We did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. Maroon. Okay. So, uh, hiding some secrets in the family as well then, huh? Yeah, I think a lot of people in Dunwell are double dipping when it comes to the Overseers and the Outsider. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think... Actually, yeah, I think it's uh, kind of a... And I'm actually not used to the term for March, but... I think during this time period, in real life, many people were already in Europe getting a bit pissed off on uh, the shirt and such, on many cases. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. We're one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. 
Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. Yep, sounds like we're drawing close on the end, huh? Yeah, to... Did you say this, this was quite a long game? I'm not sure, actually. Let's see. Teague Martin is now a high overseer. He is a clever one, and his uh, ideas have taken us very far. Considering where he comes from, he should be very pleased with himself. Now we can be assured that the overseers will support our claims, whatever they may be. There is only one man now standing between us and complete control of the Empire. The Lord Regent will soon find himself staring into that hideous mask of Cordovos. Of that I have no doubt. But what happens after that? Because, yeah, that is something that uh, the Taliban are finding out at the moment. Uh, because, yeah, Afghanistan is kind of crumbling into each other at the moment. Because, yeah, they took over the country, but they didn't have a plan for what after. There they are. And I think there is a little something that we've missed here. Uh, okay, for a moment I thought there was something underneath there, but... You've come you may far. notice that uh, a certain You're device is there. gone now. Yep. Yeah, I, it seems that I missed the moments where it would have uh, been talking about that, because Havelock apparently doesn't really like machinery or doesn't know how to work with them. Corvo. Hmm? Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Hmm. And where is she? And let's go f let's go look for her as well. Oh. It'd be a bit uh, stupid to uh, yeah, kill the usurper. but not have the princess ready to uh, take the throne instead. I think I heard her. Yeah. I heard, hey, I heard a gasp at the very least. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Shh, don't make any sound. I'm hiding from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river, in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it, as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while, anyway. And that's another room added to our collection. Yeah, I think it was a damn room when she mentioned she had got nightmares from it. Yeah. Also, this is a little hidey hole, which I guess we won't have a need for after all, but still, we can get some coin out of this place. Yeah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on! Hmm? She noticed she got bad dreams for having it on her pillow. And she gave it to... That's a damn smart girl! Do you, do you see what happens to the other people who try to sleep near those runes? Yeah, they went uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and Cocoa Puffs don't exist in this world, so they just went plain cuckoo. Yeah, so and Emily is quite clever, unless... Yeah. Also, mm -hmm. She might just have a better survival instinct than uh, What are most. the principal islands in the Empire? Uh, Circanos, Gristal... Tivia and Morley. And which one is the biggest? Crystal. And it's the best one, too. And how does whale oil work? That one's a trick. No one knows. Not even Piero. Excuse us, Corvo. I'm afraid you're a little distracting for the girl. <laughs> okay, just tell me to piss off, why don't you? Uh, yeah, let's have a little look. Actually... Oh. What do you have to say? She's a little look, okay? She's telling, telling young lady Emily. Such sadness. 
poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. She was bribed with sweet biscuits and ox milk, on with stories of magic and seafaring, all to keep her sane in the time of turmoil. Yeah, she is going to need therapy after this. Uh, yeah, that will be a bit of a question. Will it be her holding the power? Or will it be the people standing behind the throne? Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. Hmm. Question is now... Uh, we, we still have 45 minutes to go. We're this mission actually took uh, a bit shorter than I anticipated, because so far it's been one mission per stream. But it'd be a bit early to call it now, so... Yeah, and also, I just realized, you usually, you know, upgrade a buy gear by now? We don't really have... Ready when you are. We don't really have that much to upgrade. Uh, where is Piero? We could spend some of our money on stuff that we don't really need. Hmm. Well, at least... Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. Well, we might as well get at least the the zoom upgrades. Let's see. Did we get? I think we already got the zoom upgrades, it, it seems. Yeah, wait, and upgraded well. the cross so make it a bit more accurate? Sounds kind of... Crossbow reload accuracy. Those sound useful! Yeah, for this... We, we've not been using the sleep darts that much either. We probably should. And those yeah, aren't really I, useful to us. Yeah, and, I can expect us uh, to be needed to use them more now. Just in case. Hmm. Okay, I get. Now I guess we bought uh, the this, this zoom upgrade at the very start. I thought there was more of that. Hmm. Yeah, I believe. Hmm. Actually, where is? Hmm. I read somewhere that after Havelock throws out his machine, that you can find it somewhere. If you look around a bunch. But I'm not too sure if we really want to spend 45 minutes scavenging the shore here. Yeah. Well, I already found it, so... Yeah, well, we, we found a book he replaced this thing, but not the actual machine. Hmm. You mean you don't see it? Yeah. Uh, that's not the machine, that's a... Container. No, no, it's inside the fish. Wait, what's that fish coming for you? Yep. Yeah. We only have four Seriously? bolts of these? Okay. But what's with the wide life here? Yeah, it's a little bit kill or be killed. <laughs> like, even the freaking flies are a lot worse than we have. And just because you're waving your ass at us, tonight is sushi. If he did die, I, I think so. expected to fish me immortal. Yeah, he's dead. Wait, can I grab the fish? Let's see. I doubt it. Nope. So let's get out of the water before his brother comes for revenge. Yeah, notice something about the fish as well. It, it's very primitive. But I mean, yeah, it, doesn't stuff have the same, uh, it doesn't have the same fish tail as normal fish. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. Yeah, let's get going. We might have to stop in the middle of a mission, but oh well. It may also depend how many times you die.
This is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. The broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from might be worth looking into. Okay. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Yeah. And let's have a little look at our clues here. The uh, setting of alarms could cause the region to retreat to his rooftop safe room. The broadcast control station is located in the tower. This could be a good opportunity to shut down the region's propaganda machine. And actually, in our last few visits, the, the, the radio thing stayed broken, it seemed, because I didn't hear a single one of them, so I should have shot that thing <laughs> a lot earlier. Yeah, do at the same time... They, they did give you a hint of what is going on. Yeah, they probably would have talked about Leo Boyle being missing as well now. And yeah. Hmm. That. Let's see, we have enough. Let's just upgrade that straight up. And this as well. Jump higher. We don't really have a need for sprinting. Since we, well, we want to be stealthy. Yeah, and that few times you have been sprinting, well, it's not been impressive. Yeah. So, being able to sprint a bit faster could be useful. Okay, so we know where we can lure the, the guy to. But again, we, we want to try for the non-lethal options to keep the chaos as low as possible. So I don't remember how we do that one here. Okay, that's definitely a noticeable. Wait, that's a full up double jump. Hmm. Uh, you. You. Um, Hillian, you have upgraded your blink. Yeah. Uh, just trying to climb up this place a bit normally because it should be possible without any upgrades because again you should be it should be possible to get through this game without a single out of this outsider's powers all right sure yeah and the first time we use this power and it's to get past the stupid <laughs> wheel yep uh Pardon me. Let's see, is this the... You should bring the heart out. There's not actually anything here. Okay. Oh, bone charm right in our head here. Good thing that we have that rat scent bone charm that keeps them from attacking. How did you end up here and how the heck did nobody find you? Nope. Ow. <laughs> but at least the corpse is down here now. Does mean that we're missing a bit of conversation, but oh well. Miss again. Let's heal that up. Let's see, what is there to add on actually? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently we can get we can get squeezed to death by that wheel. 
Uh, yeah, I've already seen this. It's time to end the Lord Regent's rule, and if you success, uh, if you succeed, Emily can be crowned Empress. You must return to Dunwall Tower and infiltrate the place where you once served as Lord Protector. Ever paranoid, the Lord Regent has upgraded security over the months and has a heavily defended safe room to which he will escape if you set off any alarms. Basically, yeah, I don't know how safe the safe room exactly will be, like if there is no way in. There likely is because, well, actually, it, it could be a, a non-standard game over. That, uh, yeah, we can't kill him during this, so, yeah, the mission fails. Are you still here? Look here. Let's see. Did you didn't mute yourself? Yeah. They, okay. That's that's not Zoom. Back again. Okay. Yeah, I what wondered where you went because I didn't hear you leave. I said, uh, "Pardon me a moment." Yeah. Okay. Uh, the family just got home. So I just went downstairs to talk with them. I closed the door just to not be shouting near the mic. Okay. Let's just send you down. Let's just send you down this. Never mind. Okay. How do we continue on from here, though? This is locked up. Let's have a look. Yep. Not really. Someone's uh, real paranoid. Hmm. Can I break that? I don't think you can actually damage the pylons themselves. We probably don't really want to set it off. Because that might startle people a bit. in here even though that guy was looking towards us. Wait. Was that the... We only meet the tall boys once? <laughs> Looks so like it. I don't know... Uh, a waste of a uh, mob? Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer. Hmm. Can we turn that thing off though? There's not really a need for us to go in there and they better have a good off uh, switch for that thing because if it's near it then uh, yeah they'll be kind of stuck. Like I know like, <laughs> You should uh, you yeah. should keep security in high mind, but uh, how are you going to turn this thing off if the button is within zapping range? Uh, yeah. yeah and the only way to turn it off would be to wait for it to run out of oil, and yeah, then you then you'd have to send someone in to replace the oil, and then they'd be stuck until that oil runs out, and we don't really know how efficient the whale oil in this world is. 
Yeah, that's a good question. And the hotel said, when the lost Leviathan then they dead is dead, they were we fall into darkness. This yeah. can be a hint of uh, the risk of overhunting. Yeah, because whales aren't really very, very replenishable as <laughs> resource. Yeah. But as I said, they would replenish just fine, if not for, well, Someone overhunting. Someone get over here. Like, if just food, then just one or two ways is enough for a town trap, though. Like, we Vikings, when we hunted whales, we, one whale was enough for a village for a long time. And we took care of every part of it. Here, they're basically hunting a whale so much, just for the meat, bones, fat, and the oil. So, yeah, they, they just for the oil itself means they will be hunting so unnecessarily more whales. Yeah. Like they have sort of discovered electricity, but uh, not in a way that'll, well, keep them working. Yeah. What's going on? Spear, I don't seem to, to think about the uh, other alternatives uh, than whale oil, so at least someone is thinking about it. Yeah, and I do gotta say it's kind of funny how I can just pick them, <laughs> pluck them straight off their feet when stunning <laughs> them like that. Uh, I just realized what you're doing! No! <laughs> you're you're doing a dog pile! A dog pile? A dog pile? What the uh, sort of, it is. It, I don't think they'll be found randomly over there. And we want to keep... Oh, hello. That's a familiar clanking sound. Yeah, it seems we'll be dealing with the tall boys after all. Uh. Wait. Actually... Yeet. Where are they? They have to be very... They, there they are. Okay, so for once we are above them. We could jump high enough to grab that ledge, but apparently not. Squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. No, apparently not. Okay. Attention, Dunwall Tower personnel. Remain on post until you receive further orders. Let's see. There's another tall boy there. That guy says word quickly to replace or to put up his own statue. Guard there, tall boy down there. Not really a good position for them, I'd say. Hmm. I, I would love to see the reaction of the guard that finds your uh, pile of bodies. If the plague were to take the entire city, or the flames consume it, let's see. Dunwall Tower would be the last to fall. There's a room there, there's a room there. I wonder if you could kill them by shooting the oil tanks on their back. Because those things are pretty damn exposed. Okay, seems that they are just armored as well. So yeah, you you need quite a bit of force to take one of those down by just sweeping the leg, so to speak. Well who says you need to do it? Yes, of course. These two here, that one there. That looks like a pretty open path to wherever you need to go. 
Something tells me if we had a oh let's see a herd of blood hawks. They could do the job for us. I don't think we can uh, stuff one of those into our <laughs> into our pockets. Yeah, sadly enough, but I so hope they have a future where we can just open a blood ox cage and just let those others out and run over <laughs> one of those damn things. I'm pretty sure that armor will also mean that uh, we can't use sleep darts on them. So we need to avoid them as much as possible. Yeah, nice. so the but for sure, it looks like the only place they were not having armor was the deadly in groin. Okay, where do I put you? Here did I put you. And this is where Sokolov was painting before, I think. The start of the game. Yeah, I think so too. <clears throat> Both of them heading that way. It seems their patrols have synced up a bit. So they are a little threat to us. I'll just steal that. And then we can just get up here. Does so that beeping mean that the watchtower got a look at us? I'm guessing it does, so we need to be careful heading that way. Yeah, this part was easy. Now we have to deal with the mechanized elements. One is that way, where is the other? Uh, there is another one near you. And you yeah, can that tall boy down there is basically useless for finding us. Yeah, where is your friend? I know for a fact that there's another guy around here. Where is he? Where the hell did he go? There he is. Just let their paths cross. I meant to click the other button, but oh well. Yeah. yeah, I was, <laughs> I was wanting to go for this, well, this stealth yeah. knockout, but it, instead I stabbed him in the pretty neck. Oh well. Oh, well, I just took that so it was not enough to make it a uh, high K boss. Yeah, I very much doubt that. Now we can move around a bit more. It's a good thing that we pulled the plug out of that thing. <laughs> because then we, we would have certainly died there. But yeah, that... You can take that as a bit of a show of how much quicker the stealth kills are compared to the stealth takeouts. Do we find? We find the guards. Yeah, nice. Okay, he's not heading this way. Let's see. Watchtower. Tall boy. So this way we go. Okay, it's quite a bit more here. Can we... we cannot climb on that, or we can't reach it. 
Let's not fall back down, because then we'd have to climb all the way up again. Hmm. We could take you out, but there's no real need to, since you seem to be just going back and forth. This, this wall of light is inactive. Okay. Ruin in there. Hmm. So either they're building out the perimeter. Oh, they are. They. <laughs> they built on top of the tower with a lot of freaking metal. So of course they're already building out, but. Yeah. I guess they're looking to improve security even more still. That's the hell made it right through. And that guy heard us swinging our sword. He heard us swinging and hitting the floor. But I'm pretty sure we couldn't have been seen there. You look like a normal guard to me. Yourself. Don't make me find you. I'm pretty sure there was a wall between us there. But apparently not. Come out at once. Everything okay. seems in okay. Let's not have you raise an alarm. Someone is likely on alert, or annoyed at the very least. But not enough for the alarm, I hope. There's the second one. I get the feeling we're going to hear the alarm any second now. Where is the second one? limits captain captain Vermont, i was actually to that i must ask you to speak with one of your men corporal case reports to you i believe according to the morning duty officer keys uh, had <clears throat> has been making his way through the basement meeting with the royal interrogator i have no idea what they discussed but it's been reported that keys has an interest in the occult either way i'm not an overseer so i don't give a fig for how he spends his time when he's not on duty but keep him away from the torturer the basement is off limits for to our men Major Hawking. Okay, that is something. That is someone we might be interested in visiting again because, well, they were fucking torching us before. Let's leave that somewhere where they can't use it. Even though I'm pretty sure the NPCs can't actually pick up the canisters. What the heck is that? Ah, there's the other one. Yeah, why is there a fish tank here? So I was not seeing fish. There were fish. Why are the? What the heck is going on? I'm guessing the Lord Regent wants a mandatory shark tank, but he can't afford sharks. Or he can't find sharks. I don't dare think much of how sharks look like here. Careful of that thing. Okay, just grab you. There we go. And let's just lay you down here. No one will find you here. And oh, it's just a moat. With still pretty big freaking fish in it. Yeah, primitive fish, but still fish. Can we get to the watchtower? And what is this shiny yeah, here? For whiskey and cigars tonight? Yes, of course. Is this a is this a trans compactor of some sort? The 
and I'm, I'm guessing they're just compacting their trash and throwing it into the moat. So, okay, that's that is going to start piling up. Hmm. That was something else. That's high pressure. It's one guy there, one guy there. If I jump there, I'm pretty sure this guy won't shouldn't be able to see us. If he does, we can just jump along to the watchtower anyways. Question B, will it be safe to knock them out regularly or by guards? It should be easy enough to take out both of these. He's coming close. But being stealthy, just without having to touch them, would be preferred. And hello. I must have missed him some at some point. That only barely worked. Okay, there we go, disabled. Now we recharge. One and two. Okay. Now three, now four. Hmm. Let's see, can we climb this? No, we can't. I should be careful with that swing because enemies can hear it if you're hitting your blade against something. Hmm. Should probably just swim through here to the other side. Hmm? Let's put away the blade. Let's see, barbed wire here. There are no entrances. Is there only the front door? Hmm. Oh, those are hagfish. Yeah. And they're by the little bastards. And I yeah, can't actually can't. attack on the water, okay. They, they look very prehistoric. Let's put on that for a second and let's not get bitten to death by freaking fish. You almost died to fish. Hmm. Probably didn't need to do that for that, but uh, well, and actually, are you looking for your friends down there? That makes him easy to knock out. Let's wait for him Bless to walk you. a bit more. <coughs> okay, this time to go for a knockout, not the kill. Oh gosh, I just imagined he just sneezed, and I just imagined you was going up and say, "It was just whisked in his ear." Bless you. Oh, thank God. Wait, what? Yeah, that was audible uh, precipitation about how much it would happen. It probably did happen. Let's see. Your facial decay by order of the Lord Regent, effective immediately. All access to Dunwall Tower is hereby restricted to official traffic via waterlock only. The front gate is sealed with no exceptions. This order issued from the office of General Tobias with the full authority of the Lord Regent. Yeah, he is real panicky. Someone hid a rune underneath their bed. And we've seen that one before, I think. Basically, no need to sneak here because the doors are closed. Yeah, don't put whale bones with runes under your bed, people. Let's see, is there really no other entrance than the front door? Let's see, do we have map or something uh, 
mission clues, mission items, no. Hmm. Was it? Martin and Havelock were looking at a map earlier. Was that supposed to be a map of this place? Uh, yes. It was. Okay. Then, hmm. Let's give that trash compactor or whatever it is another look. Uh, that, that one kind of is curious. Oh. Okay, so this is a way in. And for years, so it's maybe not a trash compactor. Uh, maybe more of an ejection point. Yeah. Everything is secure on the ground, Lord Regent. It will have to uh, again. I'm going to head down and retire to my bedroom. Begging your pardon, sir, but I think it would be best if you stay in your safe room on the roof for now. I need the comfort of my own bed tonight. I trust you and your men can handle the tower security. Double the guard if you have to. Come see me before you finish your rounds. Yes, as you wish, Lord Regent. I'm heading up. Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. Yes, sir. They have... Monitors? Yep. That's very high-tech. Yeah, Sokolov may be a bit of a bumble, but he's still... Well, clever. Let's see. Should be safe up here. Uh, yeah, we could just head to its uh, bed chamber and end him there. But there is there is a way. Oh, there he is actually, guarded by a by an overseer with a dog. Hmm. But yeah, there is again a non-lethal way somewhere in here. Okay. Discuss any number of things. But he was always his way here. This was my chair. Better make a pair of things have changed. Remember to have tea sent up later. There is actually connection here. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, it would uh, heat both rooms at the same time. Yeah, but. It wouldn't. Uh, it, it, something about the piece. Uh, yeah. Hit up both of them at the same time, yes. Problem is, you will need a bigger fire. Let's see. Anything up here? Hmm. Is this another exit? Yeah, this is another exit, or entrance, could have been. Let's have a little look. Because how the hell were we supposed to have gotten up here? With difficulty, it seems. Back in. And it said something there about tall boys having vulnerable tanks, I'm guessing. I couldn't read more of it than that. But it would make sense. Dies. Yeah, perhaps rely a bit too much on this to see if there's anyone nearby or not. Again, there is an achievement for getting through without using any outsider powers, which make make me yeah, which would make things a hell of a lot more difficult. Okay, that guy is, isn't going to enter in here. Then this one is an easy target. Don't smoke on your yard. Grab that as well. Oh, a book on the Empress. Okay. For now, though, let's just dump this guy over here. There shouldn't be anyone stumbling across him. What? 
made the Empress have here? Let's see. Many of those who live through her reign will weep until the end of their lives over the pale beauty with the piercing eyes and the foul end she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. In her father's day, the cold winds were thrust into the limelight despite their distance to the throne, and the former dynasty provided no heirs. A prosperous age followed the emperor, but his daughter would have a different luck. During her short life, political intrigue and minor conflicts created cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the Isles. The Rat Plague, however, was a terror for which neither the Empress Caldwin nor any other living being was prepared. Neither was she for her own spy master turning on her. Of course, sir. Trust me, we'll find you. I hope so, General. Leave me now. Yes, Lord Regent. Mm, yeah, he's in there. It would be so easy to just kill him. Here's how you should be able to dart him there, but. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I I do want to go for. I do want to show off the. Yeah. The non-lethal way, and that was a bit of a bullshit one. So, I'll I'll save scum on that. Hmm. Yeah, that that was a bit. He 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 got off a shout a bit too close to him, which sent him running. Yeah, I, I really yeah. want to show off the non-lethal option here. Yeah, because it's probably one of the most satisfying from my memory. Um, but is, how long do we have remaining? Uh, we are almost at two hours. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably call it in a bit. We'll leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger. Okay. This time, let's just dump you here. I guess that means there's more to just than uh, assassinating him. Yeah. yeah Alright. Okay, so that guy does come in here. I didn't think he would. But oh well. Grabbing him all the same. And this time he isn't going to call out and ruin everything. For a moment of thought, you almost were about to stab him. Trust me, we'll find you. I hope so, General. Leave me now. Yes, Lord. And yeah, they're talking about us and the fact that they don't know who we are. Is that guy going to come into here as well? If he is, I'm just going to guard him. Actually, we could hide up there. Doesn't seem to be coming. It's a, a painting of the Empress. Emily will want that. Not taking chances. Hello, General. Okay. <laughs> uh, this room is apparently very popular. Hmm. Okay, where is the regent? Now he's moving around, so he's not getting into bed or anything. There's a guard there, and there's, some, there's a wall of light there. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, up that way is probably to his safe room, because otherwise it would have been pretty funny if we uh, <clears throat> if we could lure him through the wall of light there. Hmm. For now, though, we we are at two hours. But I do want to at least do a little bit more. There we go. The second word that keeps saying is dies or dias or something. Let's see. Just a little alcove. I'm 
guessing that the yep the overseer is moving back and forth. So unless he comes in here, which I doubt, find doubtful, we will be yeah, will be safe. And if not, then we can just kill the dog and dart him, or just kill them both. Okay, just give your dog a shove. <clears throat> Still gotta be a bit careful with the dogs because they can smell us. Even if we uh, haven't interacted with them much. After what last night. So. There's another guy there. <coughs> Let's see that the fact that they were talking yeah, the fact that Samuel mentioned the propaganda center here, or, or the broadcasting center, was uh, a hint towards the non-lethal option, because it, it's possible to get a confession out of the jackass and have it broadcast to the entire freaking city. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's way better than just killing him. Yeah. Because then the entire city will be out to kill him. Oh. No. We have this guy who will not move whatsoever. You this gun. And we have another stationary there. Where is that communication center, though? Because, of course, we need to have it being broadcast for that to work. Uh, I'm not too sure if we can get that done real quick, since, well, we'd have to explore the place to find out. Actually, do we have maybe a map? Uh, we we saw a map earlier, but we didn't... There wasn't anything marked on it. Oh, and another mobile one. Hmm. It's a good thing these, these guys don't look up. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's look around a bit more, maybe take one or two of these out, hide them in the alcoves. And uh, yeah, see if we can find a broadcasting center, which is likely Where somewhere we... nearby at least. Do we are three minutes over time. Yeah, we can, we can do a little bit longer. Hmm. This guy is vulnerable now. Or not, okay. Turn around at the last second, why don't you? Hmm. It might actually be smarter to go like that with them, to take out the first one, then him, then him, and so forth. But then we'd have to dodge the overseer over there. Okay, let's do it. Oh, hello there. Someone in there. That's not Mario, this guy. No, no, Stabby. Uh, why won't it? It won't let me choke him. If you want to gamble on the hounds again, you're such a chaffer. All right then. Apparently he's choke-proof. And we almost got spotted there. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe wind or something. Let's use let's use this a bit to look around a bit. See if we can see anything useful. Like I'm guessing the equipment should show up in the dark vision. There's something there. But Looks only like valuables. Uh, careful here because that we can't reach. Side chamber here. Hmm. There's the overseer. Okay, let's give it another ten minutes. Then we'll call it mid mission for once. Oh, no, stupid goddamn. 
Gotta be careful. Yeah, I was sort of expecting that to happen. Because if we'd gone for him, the overseer would have caught us. Let's, again, let's not jump on top of them. There we go. Let's give you a big old hug. And quickly carry your ass out of here. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Okay, overseer. Heading this way. I forget how specifically we get that confession out of him. But it, it, does, it should involve luring him to the propaganda center. We probably shouldn't be too close before the hound starts sniffing us. Because the overseer is going to follow his hound. <clears throat> but we have reduced our risk to this place already. So let's just take a quick peek. Steal that. And just run off like a freaking raccoon. Hmm. The heck is yeah, that's one of those blood oxes again, probably. Hmm. Yeah, it would be so easy to just chuck a grenade in there. Still odd that we couldn't choke out that guy. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt. Hmm. Okay, so that is a little cupboard of its own. Does this door lead anywhere then? So we first have to not get spotted by the overseer and his hound. And I'm hoping we're up high enough that the hound doesn't smell us. <coughs> If it does, we can just jump over there. Nope. Nice doggy. Yeah, nice doggy. Sniff us. What do you say there? Hmm? Do you say please sniff us? No. But that's also the opposite we really want here. It is also pointing us towards the torture chamber, probably for a bit of revenge. Hmm. Uh, there, he went back there. I'm glad he isn't playing that stupid thing, because that makes a real <laughs> racket. Have been caught by him. Actually, is there anyone else out here? If there's not, then we can just take him out. Restrict an errant mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same body? No, but the first will direct it one way, and the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, they heard that, I'm thinking. Oh no, the dog sniffed us, I think. How would, how would it sniffing us up here? Well, the dog can't raise an alarm, so we are lucky. So where, where's the overseer gone? There's no place to hide in here. Oh, there's the broadcast control station. Okay, if that overseer is coming here, I'm just going to hide up there. Hmm. I'm guessing he might have heard the sword, that guy's sword hitting the floor. Because it's not over there. Hmm. Wait. He's alone. 
Or is there no light behind him? Oh. Yeah, it's, it was a different overseer and dog. Yeah, I just thought that this overseer someone is a dogless for a moment. Hmm, how do we get there? Probably through the side door there. Hmm. We will first have to deal with this guy and dodge the overseer again. Which taking a different route. Hmm. I'm guessing he's just changing up his route at random, sort of. Can't hear you. Can we blink with you? We haven't tried that before, I think. Can, but not as far as before, I'm guessing. Whereas the overseer is all the way there, so quick blink and just keep going. Yeah, th this part will probably be not as satisfying to view as anything else of the game so far. Hmm. Oh, there, there's the overseer that we alerted. Okay, if we can take him out without his dog nearby. Yeah, nice. We're just going to keep searching. Yeah, we have a good amount. And he's probably in between there now. Or he's just going back to where he came from. What? What are you doing over here? Are they both trying to find me or something? And he is coming in here, it seems. Are you? I could lure him in here. No, he's just plain coming in here. I know something's up. And I know something is going down, and it's you. <laughs> you perfect word of choice from him. Oh, I know something is up. Shonk. Oh, if he only knew how accidentally right he was. Yeah. That does mean that some of the guards are alert enough to be looking around, or they're adjusting their patterns. Either way, we're going to add to the collection. You make a little piles. Kind of, I kind of want to see how big of a pile we can make now. Before they start falling off of each other. Alright, I do wonder, where are these guys coming from? Are well, they noticing that people aren't on their patrol anymore or something? Well, here I am. When a mommy dog... No, when a mommy guard and the daddy do guard love each other very much... Why did I see a kid almost say dog? I mean, guard? But they're not that bad, literally, at the very least. Yeah. I think I have a bit of a derpy brain at the moment. Okay. Let's see if we can grab this guy. And then we'll call it for now. And then we'll leave uh, taking out the Overseer for next time. Yeah, I suspect getting into the propaganda room will not be a, a short thing. Oh, he's, he's running back, okay. And they really changed up the... Hmm. I'm a bit confused now. Games don't typically do this where they change up their routines this much. Make me a tad nervous that other people might start moving into places 
that uh, well, one of the guard that we jumped here likely would have found the bodies. But yeah, we took them out. It's great. Wasn't there a fourth? Where did the other one go? What time are they getting to reality? I'm guessing they might have. Would that? Okay. Well, may that not accidentally become an issue if that's the case? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing the maximum of how we can make before the game starts glitching is four. But for now, let's call it there then. That one will overwrite. And yeah, a bit of a cliffhanger to leave it on. But uh, yeah. Either way, for now, though, uh, yeah. We aren't done with the game just yet, because, well, we'll have to deal with the aftermath a bit. But, yeah. Thoughts? It's going to be interesting to get him into the interrogation room. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it is pointing us to the torture chambers. Probably uh, they, may, they might have left some evidence there or just to get revenge on the torturer, which I wouldn't be against. But yeah, we'll, ha we'll have to find some way to lure the Lord Regent into, uh, you know, into there. To, or maybe we... Hmm. We'll have to see what needs to be done. But... Yeah, yeah, we'll see that next time. I don't think we really have much to talk about now because, yeah, we, this is the first one bit of these that we're miss ending in the middle. <laughs> yeah, true. And uh, yeah, this so far it is proving a little more difficult than uh, the boil of mana, which hmm, it is a highlight, but it's like I said, it feels a bit too easy in parts. Like they 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 gave us two ways that will just outright tell us who our target is. Hmm. Well, yeah, not every mission can be a highlight or the best of the best. So, yeah. Um, Saturday <laughs> will be more Hard Space Shipbreaker because we don't want to play too much of the same game all at once. Though, uh, I think you probably would <laughs> want to finish this mission at least very soon. Uh, I, can, I can be able to wait for next week. And yeah, Sunday, just back to the normal with showing off games instead of a, a test stream with the with the capture cards. Yeah. Uh, yeah, beyond that, there's not much to talk about, really. So, yeah, anyone who's watching now or later, thank you for watching and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, already outlined what will happen next or what we're doing next. So yeah, until then, until then. Be safe, folks.